Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On Call Compliance Solutions, and I'm back with another compliance tip of the week. Today we're talking about NIST SP800171 Control 3.14.3, Monitor System Security Alerts and Advisories, and Take Action in Response. And this is a very interesting control because it's basically saying that you've got to be monitoring uh, system alerts, right? So we know that we've got to actually be actively monitoring for system alerts. But then there's this word advisories, all right? Now, what's an advisory? Well, you know, it, it's kind of like a warning message. It's, it may not necessarily be a full-on alert from the system, but another way to interpret the advisory is that you should be sort of subscribed, someone in your organization should be subscribed to some kind of information security, uh, whether it be a news outlet or, uh, you know, kind of something that's letting you know if there's issues that are going on, on the internet that may, may be relevant to you and your cybersecurity. Uh, again, if you're a defense contractor, there are free resources out there. You can Google them. Contact us if you're wondering uh, who to get keyed into. But uh, a lot of different departments in the government do put out security advisories, including the FBI, uh, when there are heightened levels of cyber threats. So I'd like to let people kind of know about that. Uh, if we were to answer this, here's what we would answer. We would say it's implemented via the SIEM and SOC solution. The SOC alerts and advises the IT department and outsourced IT department management company based on the issue severity and the appropriate responsible party takes action in response depending upon guided actions in the incident response plan. So again, we're starting to, starting to tie some things together here in Control Family 14 uh, in terms of how we're responding to things uh, and how we're supposed to be responding to things and who the people are that are supposed to be responding to those things. So uh, again, Really key there, uh, again, a lot of it really boils down to uh, taking action and making sure that we are aware. So hey, if you're trying to get compliant with DFARS, NIST SP800171 or SAMMC on your own, and you're looking for help, our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit NIST800171compliance.com or check out the bio below for links to make life easy. There you can find more information about how we can help self-schedule time at your convenience with one of our compliance experts through any form on the website or learn more about our completely done for you services that can have you on your way to being compliant in just two to three days. Love the content we're putting out for you. Help us out with a big thumbs up on that like button or even better smash that subscribe button to get the latest compliance content as soon as our compliance nerds roll it out. It's a great way to stay prepared for that upcoming CMMC certification. Everybody's going to have to eventually get through it. Until the next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there and hit us in the comments below. Let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to information security and compliance. I'll see you on the next one.